already, isn't it? Let's try and give away some real money now. Fastest finger first. Uh, let's do it all over again to see who's next to play for one million pounds. Here it comes again. Audience, nice and quiet, please. Here comes the next question. Starting with the fewest, put these parts of the adult body in order according to the number of each. Ribs, teeth, toes, kidneys. This is, of course, uh, not necessarily what you got left now. It's what you started with, right? Um, started with the fewest, put these parts of the adult body in order uh, according to the number of each. Right, let's have a look, then, the right order. First and foremost, then, kidneys, you should have two of those. Uh, toes, you should have ten. Ribs, 24. And teeth, 32. That's the right order. Let's find out who got it right. Then let's find out who got it right in the fastest time. These got it right, only one. Peter Lee in 14.587. <laughs> Right, you ready for this? Uh, this time, yeah, let's yeah. go two more questions. Let's do okay. one million pounds. Oh, that's right. a great night. That's good. Now, this is Peter Lee from Cardigan in Wales. He spent 25 years in the Royal Navy. Now, Peter's here tonight because he describes this show as the Holy Grail. That's it. Of quiz yeah. shows. And I am Monty Python. Uh, his wife Sue is at home looking after the dogs and cat. Now, one of Peter's grandsons lives in the United States, and if Peter wins a million pounds, he said one thing he'd like to do is bring him, his grandson, back over here uh, to have trials with a few English football clubs. He's that good, is he? He's brilliant. Yeah, he's ten. So who, who would he, who would he play player. for then, ideally? Swansea. <laughs> <laughs> Great team. Swansea. <laughs> okay. What was it like for you sitting there watching watching that? It was just extraordinary. We Quarter hoped million. we were going to be in on the first million pound show. Yeah, we I, hoped I think everybody yeah. thought that, actually. Yeah. Two lifelines as well. Yeah. You're certainly here the first time that anyone has ever phoned a friend for half a million, which is mm. just amazing. Listen, two more questions. We'd be there, so it could be you, Peter. I hope it is. OK. okay. Right, 15 questions, one million pounds. It sounds so easy when you say it like that. We've just got the 13 questions just now. Let's do 15 this time. Three new lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend, ask the audience. Ready for this? Yes. OK, let's do it again this Monday night. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, Peter, lots of luck. Uh, for 100 pounds, have a look at this. What was the nickname of the American showman William Frederick Cody for 100 quid? Bison Bob. Bulldog Bert, Buffalo Bill, or Bumblebee Brian? <laughs> Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill's Chris. the right answer, yeah. <laughs> OK, Pete, just 14 little questions between you and one million. Question number two, 200 quid. If you try to emulate your neighbours socially, you're keeping up with the... Browns, Smiths, Joneses, Bakers. Jones is good. It's the right answer, you've got 200 quid. <laughs> right, for £300, don't forget, there's no trick questions. You've got all your lifelines, use one if you need them, but there are no trick questions, they just slowly get harder. Have a look for £300. What's the centre of a storm called? Nose, eye, ear, chin. Eye, Chris. Eyes right, you've got 300 quid. <laughs> Peter, the nice and straightforward, just take your time, just be aware that these first five questions, if you did give me a wrong answer, you go home with nothing. I'm sure it won't happen, you've got all three lifelines anyway. Have a look at the next question, it's worth £500. Question number four. In the world of trees, what is the opposite of evergreen? Opposite of evergreen. Desiccated. Deceptive. Deciduous. Deceased. Deciduous. <laughs> is the right answer, you've got £500. Quid. <laughs> Trees that shed all their leaves in the winter are called deciduous. Right, last point at which you could go home with nothing, but this is worth £1,000. Peter, give me the right answer, you go home tonight with at least £1,000. Question number five, here it comes. Which word means a person who has little or no experience at sea? You probably know this. How many, what was it, 25 years in the Navy? 25. <laughs> if not, you'll be in all sorts of abuse from your neighbours. Landlady. Landholder. Landowner. Landlubber. 
Don't love her, Chris. It's right for a thousand pounds. What on? Let's go and see. Amount. You've got you've got a thousand. I mean, obviously, a million would be a very very nice amount. But what would be quite a nice amount? I just bought a car last week for four thousand, so four thousand would do. That'd be a nice amount. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get you up to that at least. You've got all three lifelines. Uh, you're on question number six for two thousand pounds. Have a look. Which industry is sometimes referred to as Tin Pan Alley? Steel, music, catering, car repair. Music, Chris. Right answer. You've got two thousand pounds. Originally on a district in New York, I think, which was called Tim Pan Alley. Right, Peter, take your time. You've got £2,000. You've still got all three lifelines. You're going well. Have a look at the next question. It's worth £4,000. You're guaranteed going home with a 1000 If you gave me a wrong answer, you would drop £1,000, but you've still got three lifelines. Have a look at question number seven. Corgi means dwarf dog in which language? Spanish, Italian, Welsh, Manx. Take your time. It's worth £4,000. You have got three lifelines. Corgi means dwarf dog. In which language? Spanish, Italian, Welsh, Manx. I'm trying to think of where they come from. Phone a friend, you could ring the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> What's the language, Corgi? I think I'd like to ask the audience, I think, to see if they know. OK. <laughs> OK, let's see what happens. Uh, audience, it's worth £4,000 to Peter, please. Corgi means dwarf dog in which language? A is Spanish. B on your keypads will be Italian. C is Welsh. D is Manx. All vote now. Forty-six percent think it's Welsh. Uh, 19, 20, 15. No, I know a bit of Welsh, but I don't, that doesn't sound familiar. Oh, Welsh corgis, of course it is. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what are you, what are you muttering? I about? suddenly thought Welsh corgis, isn't it? Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll go with the audience. I think uh, it's Welsh corgis. Yeah. Welsh. Final answer. Don't have to. You don't have to play. You got two thousand. It's up to you. Well, I've never heard it in Welsh. Yeah, I'll stick with I'll stick with that one. Final answer. Final. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the right answer. You got four thousand pounds. Is the Welsh for dwarf dog? Right, you got four thousand pounds. Have a look at the next question. You still got two lifelines. Still got your fifty-fifty, and you still got phone a friend. Have a look at the next question. It's worth £8,000 to you. You're guaranteed £1,000, Pete. If you gave me a wrong answer, you'd lose £3,000. But if you play it and give me the right answer, you double your money up to £8,000. Have a look. It's question number 8 of 15. Who was the last British governor of Hong Kong? You know this one? Mm -hmm. See if it comes up. Who do you think? Chris Patton. OK, let's see. Norman Lamont, Chris Patton, Neil Kinnock or Edward Heath? Chris Patton. Sure, final yep. answer? Yep. You've got £8,000. <laughs> this is question number 9 of 15. It's worth £16,000. Here it is. Bhutan is a small country situated in which range of mountains? Alps, Pyrenees, Andes, Himalayas. Himalayas, Chris. Why are you so confident? I just know that's where it is. <laughs> final well, answer. I hope it's where it is. Final answer? <laughs> yes, final answer. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He's just won £16,000. <laughs> Good 
happy to take your time. Mm -hmm. Have a look at it. Question number 10. It's worth 32,000. Which of these is made from beef? Prosciutto. Pastrami. Pumpernickel. Panettone. You've got £16,000, yep. but it's worth £32,000. That's pastrami, Chris, I think. Final answer. Yep. <laughs> You've just won £32,000. <laughs> £32,000. It's very, very, very good. Yeah. It's very, very nice. But we don't want to give you that. We will give you that quite happily, Pete. But you are five questions away from £1 million. The next one is worth £64,000. You might as well play that whatever. You can't lose. You'd still go away with £32,000. Have a look at it. It's question number 11. Which of these actresses has not appeared in Coronation Street? Not appeared in Coronation Street. Patricia Routledge, Maureen Lippmann, Prunella Scales, Joanna Lumley. You've got two lifelines. Yeah, that's Maureen Lippmann. I, th I can remember the others being in it. Joanna Lumley was a boyfriend of somebody or others. Prunella Scales was in it and Patricia Routledge, so it's Maureen Lippmann. You sure? Yeah, about 2%. No, but, 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 2% sure. Final answer, yeah? Yeah, final answer. You're very good on your soaps. You've just won 64. <laughs> Joe Lumley, I think she was um, Ken Barlow's, Ken Barlow's boyfriend. girlfriend or girlfriend. Yeah, not boyfriend, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, now that was a very different play. Um, <laughs> Vanilla Scales was a bus conductress, I yeah. think. I think the other one ran uh, ran a cafe or something. But you're right. Sorry, anyway, more mm. Peter, have a look at that. Feast your eyes on that sunbeam. Sixty-four thousand. Mm. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it won't go away. Sixty-four thousand pounds at the moment. Yeah. You've still got two lifelines. You've still got fifty-fifty. And you've still got phone a friend. Have a look at question number 12 of 15. Which John Osborne play features the character Archie Rice? You know this, don't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what do you think? The Entertainer. Wait and see. Wait and see what comes up. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> the Entertainer. <laughs> West of Suez. Look back in anger. Time present. I'll go for the first one. The entertainer. Final answer, you're absolutely sure? Yep. It's good here, isn't it? You've just won 125. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, what your wife Sue's doing at home, but I sh think she's in the most <laughs> dreadful state, looking after the pets. Um, Peter, at this moment, have a look at that. I can give you a cheque for one... Oh, <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen one that big before. £125,000. Oh, brilliant. Have a look at the next question. You don't have to play it, but it's worth a quarter of a million. Which French Impressionist painter which French Impressionist painter had a son who became a successful film director? Pissarro, Degas, Sisley, Renoir. I've 
I've got an idea what it might be, but I think this is where one of my lives comes in, I think. What, um, what do you think? Which one? I think it's probably Renoir, but that's a guess. It's worth a quarter of a million if you can get to the right answer. Yeah. I think I'll go for a 50-50, I think, at this stage, I think. OK, all right. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Peter just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Yeah. Take your time. Uh, one of those is worth £250,000. Yeah. One of those, if you played it, would cost you £93,000. Uh-huh. I think I might call on one of my uh, phone of friends, please. OK. And it'll be, um, I think, Derek. Derek? OK, who's he? Yeah. He's a film fan. His, his daughter's in the audience. <laughs> She's the one who's just gone, oh, <laughs> God, he's going to ring Daddy. It's <laughs> 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 be worse for her, you or Daddy, actually. <laughs> 30 seconds, two possible answers. One of them's worth a quarter of a million. Tell him. Hello. Derek? Yes. Good evening. It's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hello. Hello. Good heavens. Hello. Good heavens. Um, <laughs> I've got Peter here, Peter Lee. Yeah. At the moment, Peter is on £125,000. 125000 Wow. Well, with your help, we can hopefully get him up to £250,000. Mm, good heavens. OK. Uh, the next voice you hear will be Peter's. There are only two answers left. One is the right answer, one's wrong. OK, Derek? OK. OK, Peter, your time starts now. Yeah, Del Boy. Hello, Peterkin. <laughs> Which French Impressionist painter had a son who became a successful film director? Which French Impressionist painter had, had a son who became a successful film director? Was it Pissarro or Renoir? Pissarro or Renoir? <clears throat> well, I know there is a film director called Renoir, but I don't know of one called Pissarro. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you've just confirmed what I was but, uh, hoping. Um, if that's what you believe, uh, there is a, a Renoir film director, but I'm not sure... Thanks. Yeah. Peter, I know it's a serious moment, but Del Boy and Peter Kid. Yeah, it's, it's a long story. <laughs> Peter, take your time. It's entirely up to you. You can take this money. You do not have to play this question. If you're wrong, it has cost you £93,000. No, I'm going for it. I'll go for Renoir. That sounded familiar to me, and if Del Boy knows his films, so... Or Derek, sorry. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Renoir. Renoir. Uh... We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Just before we went to the break, Peter Lee was on 125,000. Mm. He decided to play question number 13 of 15. He used up his lifelines. The question was, which French Impressionist painter had a son who became a successful film director? The only two left were Pissarro or Renoir. Peter went for Renoir. If he's wrong, it's cost him 93,000 pounds. It hasn't. He's just won a quarter of a million. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, so calm as well. <laughs> Have a look, then, Peter. Two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Look at that. A quarter of a million. Hold it. Give it back. Give it back. <laughs> you can take that and walk away. You've got no more lifelines, but you are just two questions away from one million pounds. The next question is worth five hundred thousand pounds. If you give me a wrong answer, if you decide to play it and give me a wrong answer, you still get thirty-two thousand pounds, but you lose two hundred and eighteen thousand. Take as long as you need. It's question number 14 <laughs> of 15. Here it comes. All right. What does the Japanese word kamikaze literally mean? 
sacred venture, divine wind, self-destruction, final attack. Yep. It's divine wind. Why are you so sure? Okay. Oh. Japan's one of my favourite countries. So I've been there a few times and I've just picked up a few phrases and just hope that that's it anyways. It's up to you. If you're wrong, you lose 218,000. You can walk away with a quarter of a million. No, as the old saying goes, I came with nothing. I'll, if I go with 32, then... Yes, Peter, I know that old saying, but it doesn't apply for a quarter of a million quid. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Mm. Yep. Final answer. You just won five. <laughs> to be a millionaire at this moment peter lee has five hundred thousand pounds i'm not going for the next have a look at this <laughs> half a million yeah i wonder what i've done now <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want to give you that. <laughs> have a look at this I never thought I'd say this. Question number 15 of 15. If you give me the right answer, it is worth one million pounds. You don't have to play it. If you're wrong, you lose 468,000 pounds. <laughs> Which county cricket side is based at Chester Le Street? Warwickshire, Durham, North Hants, Leicestershire. With the other ones, I was about 90%, 95% sure this, so I'm not. So I think I'm going to take the 500,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll just take the 500,000, please. <laughs> Out of interest, which one, which one do you think it was? I would side with Leicestershire, but I'm, I'm not... There it wouldn't be a... The other ones I've been sort of near 90%. I, I wouldn't know. I tell you what, give this guy a huge... <laughs> he goes away with a cheque for £500,000! I can tell you... If you had gone along with your gut instinct there and you'd said to me the word Leicestershire, he would have just lost 468 grand. The right answer is actually Durham. He goes away, the biggest winner ever, with half a million. Fantastic. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I've lost you. Well done. 500,000.